Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a graphical user interface application with Eric, the Python IDE and Python. This is an update to the mini browser tutorial that you can find the Eric website and it's an update because there are some things that have changed. Namely, the Q application class no longer is in the Qt graphical user interface module, but instead it's in Qt widgets. And uh, as of now, the Q web view has been deprecated by Qt, and now you have to use um, you better use the Q web engine view. These are the versions I am going to use for this tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to create a graphical user interface application with a main, main window. It has three widgets uh, for the user to operate with it. Qline edit, so the user can type a URL in. Q push button to load the URL in the Qline edit. And finally, a Q web engine view widget that displays and navigates HTML pages. The procedure is somehow to create a new project in Eric. You select type graphical user interface, Python 3, it's OK. And then add a main window. Using the designer Qt tool, you can lay widgets in the main window. Then you can use Eric to compile a Python class based on the UI file and then to generate code to interact with the with this file newly created. Finally, uh, I will be implementing the required functionality, which is starting the Qt app to read the URL and to browse the URL. Let's get started. First, I will create a new project. Mini browser as for the name, Python 3, PyQt5 graphical user interface, and select a location. I will also give the name for the main script. Now in the form tab, I'm going to create a new form. Uh, the type is going to be main window. And in the UI subfolder, I am going to create the main window UI. That's the cute designer. We use this tool to lay widgets inside the main window. In this case, a line edit push button, which can be laid out vertical horizontally, and then a Q web engine view. Selecting all the all the widgets, we can lay them out vertically, and then the layout for the main window is also set. Save changes and back to Eric. We have an UI file, but we have no Python class for it. Okay. But by means of compiling, Eric, Eric creates a new Python class for us, which cannot be changed, as you see. All changes will be lost. Therefore, we have to create a new class that extends ext extends this one by using generate dialog code at this point it's important to save project save everything this is the code uh, i am writing in in order to launch the 
queued up. You have to be aware that queue application no longer is in the Qt GUI module, but it's in Qt widgets instead. We have to define some imports here. Some more imports. Now, this is the standard cute by cute way of launching a an application. Oops. Seems to be working. Now we have to add some more code for the app to react to the push button when the user clicks on it. Okay. First we have to grab the URL the user has tipped into the edit ed, ed line, line edit, sorry. <coughs> Here's the name of the widget. have to add some import for for the class Q URL seems to be working it's working but uh, as you see when we navigate the current URL is not shown in the line edit and that's something we can easily fix In order to fix that, we can capture another event, which is, in this case, when, low, when URL load is finished. Use Qt, uh, the Eric Generate Code tool for that. This is the method Eric has created for us. Then we first get the URL we are positioned at it's important to get it as a string and then we tell the line edit widget to display this URL Let's try. This is something has improved. It's already showing the current 
URL, which in this case is about the uh, column blank. Okay, let's see. If we click on a link, it gets updated in the line edit control. Okay, so that's working. I think it's done. For the rest, there is a lot of improvements that can be done to this mini browser thing. And the same way I've uh, written some code to intercept the load finished event in order to update the content in the QLine edit widget. And so Several other things can be done, several other improvements, for instance, to watch the load progress event and set a progress bar displaying the loading status for the page. We might also want to change the title in the main window to reflect the title on the current website, validate the URL, so on and so forth. And this is uh, some useful links. Eric site, PyQt site, and of course Qt site with tons on info on the widgets and how you can use them. I will publish, I will leave my in my GitHub the source uh, the source code for the mini browser tutorial I've just done. I'll let you the link below the video. That's all. Thank you very much. Bye.